Wow, let's do this. Okay, well, you do that. Wow. Perfect. My angle. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. Um, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rose Rose. Basically your, live. Basically live. With your hosts, et moi. French, through and through. Forever and always. Um, so, big episode for us. Um, this is the Hometown Glory Dates. To be honest with you, I didn't think it was going to be that good, and then it turned on a dime, and I was like, I'm in. We were Buckle up. entertained. Oh, absolutely. We did a great job. Like, even in the slow moments, the observations I was seeing, I was like, I love these. Mm -hmm. I loved it all, and the To Be Continued, I was like, tell me more. So, it worked for me. Mm -hmm. But great let's, let's uh, frownline Maria and start from the very beginning. Yes, let's do that. So, we start with... Sweet but basic and vanilla chase. Yes. The story is that he has divorced parents and he can't let out his emotions and he can't love openly. My thing is... Who well, can? Who, who can? Yeah. And also, like, which parents aren't divorced these days? One in three. Is this really a tragic tale or just, like, I don't care? Right. Speaking of I don't care... Okay. He's from Colorado... And they made them meet on, like, the peak of a cliff that he's probably never, never seen. To. Yeah. He's like, this is my favorite spot. This is, yeah. This is the top of this hill. Yeah. I've never been here before. That's a really great observation. Thanks. It was way too beautiful, and it's just like, no fucking way. She it's like, like if we had a hometown date and we went to Scarborough Bluffs. It's like... I come here to think regularly. <laughs> yeah. Read, think, uh, text. <laughs> Write about my life. Lean on a tree and look into the sunset. Exactly. It's all me. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, wasn't there for me. And I love the, like, parent tension. He's like, I can't love because my parents hate each other. So much so that I need two separate hometown dates. First with Pops, then with Mama. Ah. How can this still be a dramatic storyline? I don't know. Do you know how common divorces are? Like, I I don't feel bad. He also was eight, which, like, yeah. shit, but, like... You meant. <laughs> you only grow If that. only. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and There's nowhere to, to go but up. Perfect. Nowhere to go but up. Nowhere to go but up. <laughs> nowhere to go but up. Um, um, their homes look fake. We know The this. fakest. The fakest. Like, I'd never really thought about it before, because I feel like usually they do better, but they really scrape the bottom of the barrel of that budget. Like, and usually I believe everything. Like, up until last season, I was like, moment. oh, this is where they sleep at night, and this is the meal that they prepared for this TV episode. That rental home that was Dad's house didn't have a railing on the stairs, like, ripped clean off. And maybe only had the chair and the coffee table that Completely. they talked in front of. No evidence that anyone's ever lived there, ever. Not a single picture frame, not a single... No pictures. I feel like if you worked the tap, there'd be no water. Dare I say. Can I get a bath? I feel like JoJo was like, bring me on a tour, and the producers were like, bup, bup, bup. <laughs> right here. Actually, this corner where our couch and one scented, like, applewood smelling candle is gonna reside, you can, um. The, like, only sad there. lion sitting on it, I was like, that's where that goes. Which leads us to our next date, Jordan. Mm. Um. How many minutes are we at? Three. We are just blowing through the through. time. Okay. Yes. We were at. Um, Jordan, he. How um, many times did we bring up Aaron Rodgers? I want to say eight, but I don't want to shy away from ten. Thousand. Yes. It's insane. It like, did some Googling, couldn't find anything online about what they were fighting, feuding over. Because it's probably like they fucking ate each other. Nothing. Nothing. I'm sure it's like the brother turned into a celebrity and they're all jealous and they fucking hate him. Every second of him. Um, and also, like, why are we milking this so much? Because... We're pitching a show called Reuniting the Rogers is, is, is where Jojo comes in and she's like, Aaron, Olivia Munn, most importantly, come, 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 come. <laughs> and this guy Olivia. who I met on The Bachelor, let's be friends again. We'll be family. I feel like the two empty chairs that. at the tip. I'm already signed on. Yeah. I'll take I mean, 18 episodes. We'll roast that any day. Any day of the week. Any Every day, day of the week. Every day. Um, the two empty chairs at the dinner table. I was like. They were never coming. Eliyahu and Aaron. Yes. We all know it. Um, um, his mom? Wasted. Is there anyone even there normally? Like, so medicated, she's like... Like, when she was like... I'm confusing the moms. 
She was the she, one who was like blown away, slept on curls. Right. And when he was like, I might be engaged there, she was like, woo <laughs> Good for you. You're the best son I've ever had. <laughs> yes. Okay. And that was all that they did. That was boring. Um, you know, like, him going back to his high school and then, like, making out in the library and, like, throwing the old pig skin of, like, his glory days in high school where, like, he clearly hasn't advanced since then. Uh, I also love the chirp from her where she was like, I thought he was, like, the hottest hot shot and then I saw these pics. I was like... Agreed. On board. Like, yeah. <laughs> frosted tips. <laughs> I agree. Also, this sounds like kind of a look below the belt blow, but do it, do it, when do have it, we do ever shied away from that? His dad is like a cautionary tale, I kind of feel. He looks like gum that was stuck to the sidewalk, but not where the main traffic is, so it turns black, but like still white weathered Incredibly. Gum. On the nose. Thank you. Niche. <laughs> Would never... I mean, it's a small comparison. <laughs> you have to really, like, be there to know it, but... I'm yes ending it. Yeah, thank I'm you. I'm yes ending it. Um, yeah, he's, like, not the cutest dad I've ever met. But that's fine. Well... Oh, it's on this side. <laughs> that's Princess Diana. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the world um, should see it. Um... There we go. This is my natural No. Nope. No, we're fine. It's fine. The mirroring is really throwing me off. That's fair. Um, do you um, want to finish up on the dad there? He's not cute. That's it. It was a dark future for... Yeah. Also, Chase's dad. Not cute. I was like, if that's what you age into, pick somebody else. But I think Chase is the cutest one. He is. Boring? Sure. Cute? S- certainly. Absolutely. Cute. Yes. Yes. And I'm probably will be it. the cutest longest. Robbie is going to expire real fast because of the Florida sunshine. <sighs> Robbie's date. Of course he's from Florida. Of okay. course. Those salmons oh didn't pack themselves. No, 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 no. Never enough salmon deep Vs for this boy. <laughs> salmon pants, salmon top. It's like, yes, forever with the salmon because he lives in Florida. Is that a theme? Mm. Sure. Oh, absolutely. I assume wasps from Florida just wear salmon all the time. I think that wasps from Florida was just the theme of that date. The horse-drawn carriage, just like... I can't. Garcon. I can't. And the tour that he took her on, like, she's like, he knows a lot, and it's like, about the whitest place in America. It's, it just smelled of racism. It he just, was like, like rude. this building's from when we owned people. Uh, <laughs> see that building over there? It's a church from when we stole this country. Literally, he was like, and this is the oldest church in Florida, and she's like, wow. Like, no one cares. Yeah. Ugh. Gross. So, yeah, the day was, like, not for me. Mm. I actually was like, if I was JoJo, I'd be probably... I don't want to say pissed, but I'd be like, this isn't, you don't know me at all. But all the moms up until this point, like, even Robbie's mom, loved her. They're like, you're a party girl, and I get that. Yeah, what's the deal with, like, all the moms loving JoJo? Is it because she's just, like, really cool and fun? But Not that she, I noticed. I mean, I don't know what it is. Like, I guess she's not, like, the cookie-cutter blonde that the Bachelorettes are used to. However, when Robbie was upset and, like, talking about the, the like, ex-girlfriend situation, like, making it seem like he was there for the... For all the reasons. reasons. She never let go of that gossip line. She was like, more Pino. Okay, wait. Can we discuss his goblets that he was drinking out of? I wish they didn't exist. I wish they didn't exist. I messaged Aiden right away being like, what are those glasses? They basically were like wine glasses within a beer glass. Yes. Right? Yes, yes, yes. In like a bright pink hue that I just like couldn't wrap my head around. I feel like it was kind of like... I drink wine, but I'm a man, so I don't want to look gay, so here's a beer stein. However, I'm a little gay, so it's lime green. Ugh, not shying not away from it. Also, like, when his mom, on camera, intentionally stirred the pot, Loved that it. was the best part of I was the like, show. she's here for the right reasons. I was like, okay, she's like the biggest cunt of this whole season, for done sure. Done and done. So basically she was like, Robbie just broke up with his girlfriend, and apparently he um, signed on to the show... Before he broke up with her. Like, he's here for the wrong reasons. Yes, like yes, 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 yes. So we started this huge thing. And then, like, Robbie and JoJo had this confrontation that was, like, pretty emotional. But, like, nah, I don't really care. It's fine. Good news is his quaff and stuff by Duff Puff remained intact. Firm as hell. Yeah. Which leads us to the next and final date with Wonky Eyes Mick Country Boy Luke. I've heard that people think that he's going to be the next Bachelor. But I'm like, with that face? With those eyes? Never. I don't Looking agree. Looking for love. And a pile of coke. <laughs> yeah, he... Yes. <laughs> I'm yes. surprised. Uh, I think that... If, sorry, if anyone's going to do it, I think it would be 
Chase just because, like, he's cute. Yes. I think in terms of handsomeness, it's going to be Chase or maybe much, Robbie. Yeah, because there's not much story around Chase, so they probably won't, no one will care. Yeah. Anyway, so Luke's date was, like, very Southern charm. He, but without the charm. Just Southern. Sure. Like, I found it was very bumpkin. Uh-huh. I don't even know how we could do it because, like, we're not putting pictures in this episode, but, like, that baby. <sighs> <laughs> Aiden I my <laughs> memory <laughs> was away <laughs> like it was gone as soon as I saw that baby it's like that baby's half jack-o'-lantern with flesh skin I argued it looked like the baby in dinosaurs research it look it up she said it and I screamed laughing for like three minutes he was wiping tears like this I it was good. have never seen a comparison more linear and on point it was perfect when I'm right I'm right but they, like, she, I guess they, like, did an awkward speech. It was way more people than normally just a family. It was, like, 25 of their nearest and dearest. And JoJo was like, I guess we'll do a speech. And then awkwardly to get out of it, she's like, where's the baby? Show me the baby. And then they zoomed in on the baby. And it made this whole episode my, like, nightmare and dream. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it really hit home for Aiden. I loved it. But Aiden loved it. <laughs> it was, I mean, it's a talking point for, like, three minutes now. <laughs> I mean, but we're they, still like, going on about it. They zoomed in, and they were tickling it, and, like, the facial expression was joy, but also extreme pain. It was just... Wait, dear God, we have to roll past. I know. Then we went to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. I'm fixating. It was worth it. But we're <sighs> done. Um, he, um, they had a very intimate moment where he, like, really said, I love you. Mm-hmm. No, he didn't. Not there. Oh. Because remember, he right. didn't say it on the date, okay. but he was talking to his right. dad about it, and dad was, like, tearing up, yeah. being like, this is it for you. I feel bad for him. Like, I think he doesn't his dad? get it. No, the, the man. Oh, it's going to well, be like, yeah, the dental work needed dental work. Sure. <laughs> dental work needed yeah. I mean, I'm all aesthetics, I guess. Um, aren't we all? And, I don't know, like, they, um, he took him to, like, this rose petal heart that he clearly didn't do himself, and he's like... Just, like, really struggled to say, like, he circled around I love you, but was like, you're part of my heart now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And she was, like, crying, obviously, because she doesn't love him back. Oh, you think? Yeah. I think that she started crying because she was like, I have to send him home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, especially when she's not hearing what she needs to hear, which is what she's all about. Really, to me, I was like, she's not feeling it. Fair. But she's always so horny for him, though. Like, right. he's always, like, giving this speech, and she's like, blah, 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 let's make out. Yeah. I kind of feel like they're all just... I find it so awkward because they always have to, like, talk about... They just, like, want her to choose him so badly, and she can't reciprocate these feelings, so they just, like, keep on saying, like, the key words. Like, yes. Like, I'll never leave you. Don't say anything in response. You're a part of my soul. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you don't have a dialogue, you just are like, uh, and you're the best, and I'll never leave your side, and, yeah. like, I love your mom and your sister. You <laughs> you're know? right. Like, that's what's so fucked up when I was watching it. You're right. No, you're right. Okay. Um, and then final row ceremony was the final row ceremony. It was a cliffhanger. It was a cliffhanger. Um, she said, I have to take wonky eyes and I need to kick them out. And then he, like, on cue, pulled her aside and was like, what I've been meaning to say is I love you. These are the three words. And she was like, thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. Cut to her in her sweet blue dress with the tits she out. She loves the blue dress Bobby's with the tits out. Play, yeah. Broke down in tears. And then it was, like, cut short to be continued. And I think she's going to send Chase home because, like, I think she has, like, less right. connection with him. Although he's the cutest one. Mm. Mm-hmm. What can you do? But ultimately, she's going to choose um, pro... Jordan. Jordan. Um, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. And how pissed were the other contestants when he was like, can I steal you for a second? They're like, can you go fuck yourself? Yeah. For a second? Also, what was that setting stage like at the flight? Like an airplane hangar? Why? Also, can we talk about how she at one point was like, I got to travel the world with them. I was like... Two places. You've been to Argentina. Argentina, that. Yeah. Like, we've been everywhere for so long. I'm like, that's a boost if I've ever heard one. Yes, absolutely. So, I think that leads us to the conclusion. We are 30 seconds away from our final time. Should we just stare at that painting? Mm Mm-hmm. There's nothing like an ending like this. Subscribe. So, watch (laughs) next week. Watch last week. Fucking stay tuned. Check You're it out. Our best friends, and we love hanging out with you guys. You're you're literally our best friends. Our best friends watch this, and no one else. <laughs>